you have this uh, powerful business in, in the Orioles in terms of being able to make a difference in, in Baltimore, the lives of families. How, how does the organization approach that? Well, you know, our ownership group is made up of a good number of uh, really well-known Maryland folks who care a lot about Baltimore and Maryland. Um, the original group, as, you, as I think you, you know many of them, um, my father and Tom Clancy, Jim McKay, Pam Shriver, Barry Levinson, a number of other people that grew up here and um, then went off in a variety of directions and did a lot of good things personally, but always felt that owning the Orioles, keeping the Orioles with, in, in local ownership hands and using it as a platform for civic and charitable good. And you know, we think about the different groups that have owned the club, beginning with the Hofberger family, who were local owners, Edward Bennett Williams, Eli Jacobs, and now um, this group of Marylanders. The, the question is not, you know, ownership changes. You're really just a store to the club. So using the club for reinforcing good messages, charitable giving, certainly baseball with a model where you know, 75 million people will come to a major league baseball game this year. Another 35 million will come to a minor league game. It's 110 million people. That's a very big tent model. You've got people from all walks of life, young and old, economic, economic, different economic levels. That's really a platform to do a lot of good and send out a lot of good messaging. So Orioles Reach, Orioles Foundation, programs to bring disadvantaged kids, support, um, literacy program, support the school system, um, support every charitable program that with whom we can partner. The Ravens do that, all the clubs do that, but I think that's certainly a mantra of this ownership group and, and has been for the last 23 years.